Let's create an XY scatter chart in Excel. I'll use an example from one of my chemistry labs of finding density of sodium chloride solutions. For example, here, a 5% by mass solution was found to have a density of 1.022 grams per milliliter, and we want to show that in the chart. I want the mass percent to be the X axis and the densities to be the Y axis. As the name suggests, XY scatter, the X axis must be on the left side and the Y axis must be on the right side. I'll highlight both columns and then I'll go to the Insert tab, and somewhere in the center you should see these different chart options. I'll select the one that says XY Scatter, and I'll select one that has a line so we can see this chart a little bit better. You can see now that the X axis shows my percent by mass, the 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, and then the corresponding densities. So I'll minimize that or decrease it so we can see our data again. I can even skip columns too. So for example, if I want to plot the data in the uh, yellow column, I can highlight my X axis. I can click control and hold on a PC and highlight the other column. If you're on a Mac, you can con uh, press command and hold that and then create another chart. And there we go. I want to show you what happens if you don't select the XY scatter chart option. This is a common mistake. If you highlight the columns, I'll just go to back to my first example. I'll highlight the first two columns and then I'll go to insert and I'll select this option, which says insert line. Notice what happens when I select this option. This isn't the chart that I want. Notice how this option shows us both columns as the Y axis data points. And the X axis is simply one, two, three, four, and five. Excel is actually plotting two charts, which may be necessary at times, but not for what I want to do here. So this is not how to plot the XY scatter 